Although this field just looks like a normal cultivated field, as we look around it you'll see that there, there are lots of other things in the field rather than just soil and stones. So we'll have a, we'll have a walk across the field and see what we find. Obviously before you go on anyone's field you have to get permission. Uh, all, all land belongs to somebody. So as you see, just laying on the surface is a piece of um, pottery and when we get home and wash it up we'll have a look and see what we think it, uh, what we think it actually is. It does look like a piece of, um, of Roman pottery from here but we'll have a closer look later on. Now this, this area here is quite a good example of what we'd likely to find. We can see a piece of pottery there another small piece there another piece in the clod of earth over there another piece just on the surface there so when we uh, when we pick them up I'll have a closer look at them so first of all have a look at this piece And we have another look at this piece. And there's this piece here. And then over here is an interesting piece because it has a has a rim. You can see just there is the rim of the pot. So all of those pieces of Roman pottery within a yard. We choose uh, a strip of about two yards wide and we walk up and down the field picking up anything that we see that isn't natural. So you're just walking along and you can see there's a small piece of pottery there. There's another very small piece there and a larger piece there. Those two could just be pieces of uh, body shirt but you can't tell because they're broken up to too small a piece but this one you can definitely see is the is the wall of a, of a pot. So let's have a look at what we actually found um, in our little field walking expedition. Amongst the pieces of flint that when covered in soil looked like pottery and more pieces of stone that looked like rims and another piece of stone that again looked like a piece of broken pot we found some large pieces of stone that could have been used in building. Some sort of building material or a floor. Or these could have been floor tiles. And these again, very uh, nondescript pieces of, of man-made material. Difficult to see exactly what they were. These are more what we were looking for, pieces of uh, Roman pottery, as you can see. They are pieces of a wall, or body of a pot. And these again, very rough pottery. Um, I'll take some pictures of them close up so you can see the stone and grit in the pottery itself but you can see that, that some of them are very bashed around by the plough 
some of them uh, you can see the layers in them how the pottery was actually made up some of them you can see how keen our eyes have to be see how small they are and how fine the body of the pottery is in some cases when you see a tiny piece like that compared to a piece of pot like that or like that so you can see obviously used for completely different purposes one of the pieces we found um, was a rim and here it is washed up as you can see it's a there's the top of the pot that's the inside that's the outside and it could have been a, a dish and here's another rim which you can see with the, the edge there it's got quite a nice piece of marking around there where where it was made and again you can see that's the inside that's the outside you can see the the lip formed of the pot this is another big body shirt of pot but this one's interesting because it has a has a line around it sometimes you find thumbprints which are fantastic to think that someone left their thumbprint in a piece of pottery 1,600 years ago and here we are picking it up today uh, this one is the most interesting piece we found yesterday as you can see it's a, another piece of a body of a pot but it has uh, a bunghole or a, uh, a hole of some sort in the side of the pot it's not where it's been broken it seems to be where it was formed like that because the inside of the pot actually goes in at that point as well so it was obviously pushed in when it was wet was it a, a, a bunghole for a cork this one will have to be uh, looked at by the experts and uh, we'll see if we can find out any more about what it could have been but that's always interesting when we find something slightly different so we found two rims which are extra interesting uh, one piece which is intriguing lots of general pieces of Roman pottery which are always interesting several stones and building material uh, this one is a post medieval brown glazed pot um, that's a, a handle probably 17th century 18th century difficult to tell and then this piece is um, a black glazed with a diamond pattern on uh, that is something else I will need to look into